have something very special to show you, so everybody come on up and have a seat. I'm going to get my stuff ready. Come on up, come on up. And if we run out of room on the stairs, you can sit on the floor. It's heated, it's nice and warm, it'll be great. We got lots of friends with us today. So you guys can look up here. Take a look at what I have to show you today. There's still some more coming, but we can we can at least look under the sheet. So this is something very special I have to show you. This is Pastor Ben's House of Caterpillars. Did you know I collect caterpillars? I do all my favorite caterpillars are in there. You know what my favorite one is? His name is Wormy. He's a good caterpillar. Very good caterpillar. Did you know that caterpillars are very important bugs in the Bible? You did? Wow, I'm impressed. So, it's true. I have with me, I can prove it. I have with me the dictionary of the Bible. This takes every word that shows up in the Bible and tells you what it means and tells you why it's important. There's a lot of words in the Bible. This is just words A through D. It's volume one. Everything from aardvark to dysentery is in this book. So I'm going to look up caterpillar for you. Hang on just a second. I'll flip it open. Look up caterpillar in hand. Oh, two. Well, um, hang on. Do you guys still want to see my caterpillars? Are you sure? I don't know if they're going to be feeling very happy today. What do you think happened to my caterpillars? Do you think they're okay? No, not so sure. I mean, hang on, I'm gonna let me peek. Let me peek here. Uh, uh, has anyone ever seen a squished caterpillar before? Yeah. What does it look like? Kind of, kind of glare. Mm. Hang on. Well, let let's take a look, and we'll see what what we have here. We'll see we'll see how my my buddies are doing. Oh. This, this here is, is Wormy's house, it was his favorite. It's a little flat now. Should we look inside and see if Wormy made it? Okay, let's look and see what happened. What was that? Butterflies? There were butterflies. I thought we were going to find a dead squish caterpillar. We got butterflies. Isn't that amazing? Do you know... On the very first Easter, something like that happened. You see, on the very first Easter, everyone thought that Jesus was dead. They thought he was dead because they saw him get hung up on a cross, kind of like that one right there. And they put him in a tomb and closed the door with a big stone. And Jesus' friends, a few days later, came to see where Jesus had been buried. They wanted to see Jesus, and they thought they were going to see something kind of yucky. Kind of like a dead squished caterpillar. But when they got there, do you know what they found? They looked inside the tomb, and it was empty. And even more exciting, there was an angel there. And the angel said to them, Jesus is not here. Jesus is alive. Kind of like those butterflies. Eh? They were alive. And do you know, do you think the people were happy or sad about that? They were so happy. They were so excited. Do you know what they said? They said a word called Alleluia. Do you know what that means? The word Alleluia means woohoo. Can you say that? Go woohoo. Woohoo. Oh, very good. So the word Alleluia means woohoo. It means praise the Lord. It means we're so excited. So I think, can you guys help me out a little bit? I'm going to say Jesus is alive. And I want all of you to say, Alleluia. You think you can do that? Let's practice. Jesus is alive. Oh, pretty good. But the last, the last service was louder. Do you think you can be louder? Okay, let's try again. Jesus is alive. 
You guys are good. Let's see if we can get everybody else to say it, too. Do you think they'll say it? Yeah, maybe. We'll find out. Okay. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Amen. Very good. Thank you so much. If you have a butterfly, you can bring it back to me. That would be helpful. Everyone else, you can go and find a seat with your parents. Thank you so much.